A trial began today for a retired Air Force major who's accused of trying to murder his wife and her father in Coral Springs. CBS 4's Joe Murray spent the day in court. She joins us live right now from Fort Lauderdale. Hi, Joan. Elliot, it was a day of raw emotion in court as each of these victims who were shot told in vivid detail what it was like to come face to face with a gun and stare death down. <laughs> It was a night of sheer terror. That voice on the 911 call, the woman on the witness stand, Catherine Ranta, testifying against her now ex-husband, retired Air Force Major Thomas Maffei, who's accused of trying to kill her and Ranta's father on a November night four years ago. I was screaming and begging for my life. I was saying I would return his stuff. I was saying I was sorry, please don't do this. I was crawling on the floor in my own blood around the table to get on the other side of the table and put some distance between him and me. Ranta was separated from her then husband when police say he showed up at her Coral Springs apartment, fired a semi-automatic pistol through the front door, and then shoved his way in. Police say it happened in front of the couple's four-year-old son. And then Will said, don't do it, Daddy. Don't shoot, Bobby. Ranta was shot in the hand and chest. Her father, who was also shot in the arm and chest, tearfully described facing death, bleeding, and running from the apartment with his grandson to a parking lot full of police officers. Two adults came rushing in front of us to cover behind the buildings. Maffei's defense, he was suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder from serving in Iraq, and he was heavily medicated the night he went to the apartment. You will hear that because of trauma, physical trauma that occurred to him in Iraq and in Saudi Arabia, that he was prescribed incredible amounts, prescribed is the key word, incredible amounts of oxycodone because of detention anger. And that's what we're going to be hearing a lot tomorrow. Uh, defense will begin their case. Prosecutors rested today. The defense is hoping that the jury will find a lesser charge of attempted murder, which does carry a minimum 25-year prison term. We'll keep you posted. In Fort Lauderdale tonight, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News. All right, Joan, thank you for that. Today is